Okay, let's take a look at this. This first example is a really good one. It says Rose has three albums for her soccer cards. She gets seven more cards for each of her albums uh, for her birthday. How many cards does Rose have in all? So when you first look at this, you might think to yourself, well, shoot, I don't know how many are in each album. But if you look around, you can see that they give us that information right there. There's 22 cards in the three albums that she's got. And it says she gets seven more cards for each of her albums. So each album gets seven more cards. So first off, you could look at it like, and they do that right down here, each album has 22 <laughs> cards, and then you're adding seven. And so one of the ways they represented that, and you can see it right here, it's 22 plus seven in parentheses, and then just multiply that by three. And you can see that she's got 87 cards. So um, let's... I'm not going to worry about the convince me. You can cross that out. So let's see. Todd has four um, baseball card albums like the ones pictured. He lets his best friend, Franco, choose five cards from each album. How many cards does Todd have now? Well, I'm just going to cross out number one. I'm going to cross out number two. Number three says, how many cards does Todd have after he gives some cards to Franco. Explain how you solved the problem. So this is the information right here that you need. And you also need this information right here. You're going to need that to solve these, to solve that question. Okay. Um, it does say explain how you solve the problem. If you just show me your work, I'll be satisfied with that. But if you just give me an answer and say, uh, I don't know how I got it. Well, then I know you probably got it from mom or dad or grandpa or grandma or your friend. So make sure you know how to do that. Next one down, independent practice. Let's see what that one says. Brandon is filling a flower order for a banquet. He needs three large arrangements and 12 small arrangements. The large arrangements contain 28 roses. I'm going to highlight that because it's probably some important information. The small arrangements each contain 16 roses. That's probably also important. And then the final question is, how many roses does Brandon have in all? So I'm not worried about number four. I'm not worried about five. But it's back to the question, how many roses does Brandon have in all? And again, explain how you solve the problem. You should be able to tell me how you did it. Don't just give me an answer. Tell me the steps that you took. So there's two problems for you to do. Excuse me? It says Miss Kim. Where says Miss Kim? Oh, yes, Miss Kim. There we go. So they must have been thinking about Miss Kim. So she's ordering place value blocks. I think uh, we should probably replace that with something like flowers or tomatoes, plants or something. Yes. But anyways, she's ordering place value blocks for third, fourth, and fifth graders. She wants one set for each student. There's six there are six sets of blocks in a carton. How many cartons should she order? Wow, a lot of information there. So she's ordering place value blocks for all those grades. Well, here's, here's third grade. Here's fourth grade. Here's fifth grade. Did they say anything about sixth grade? No, so I'm not even going to worry about that. And she wants to use one set for each student. Notice that right here is the number 
of students. So in third grade, there's 48 students. And she wants one for each student. So it says there's six blocks in a carton. Now, think about that. If there's six blocks in a carton, how many students would that provide for? Yeah, exactly. So that would be six students. Okay? So, uh, you can answer number seven. What information in the problem do you need? Although I really pretty much just gave you that answer. Not worried about eight. Not worried about nine. Um, yeah, I'm not worried about 10 either. How convenient is that? And so number 11 says, find the total number of cartons Miss Kim should order. Explain how you found the answer. So again, you're giving me the answer and explaining how you got it. And remember that she's ordering for third, fourth, and fifth grade, not just fifth. And don't worry about sixth. And let's say, just for example, each one of these cartons has six blocks. Let's say this is a carton. And here's one set of blocks, two, three, four, five, six. Let me ask you, if, if there was 20 students, and each one needed a set of blocks, how many cartons, this is a carton, how many cartons would she need to order? Mr. Oldham. Four. Four, why do you say four? Because six times four is Right, six, six times four is 24 and there's 20 students so that would be enough now if uh, if it was three cartons it'd be six times three that equals what 18 is that enough no, no. it's there's 20 students so keep that in mind when you're working on this all right Okay, that's it. You guys should be able to do that. I'm going to end this recording here. Stop video.